haven't already subscribe down below I make new videos every week on pregnancy lifestyle home decor hauls etc so if you like that kind of content please subscribe new videos go live today's video is what's in my hospital bag and what I am bringing for our son for the hospital so if you want to see what I am bringing please keep on watching I've been obsessed with these videos lately I've been on Pinterest I have been on YouTube looking and searching to see what I'm what I should bring and what I shouldn't bring and then of course the hospital told me a couple things to bring but anyways so if you guys are ready let's get started we are gonna start with his diaper bag um, in case you didn't know I'm having a boy his name is Mason Phillip Hicks, so of course I had to get this monogrammed. I got this as a baby shower gift. It has a lot of um, a lot of storage in here, so if you guys are interested, I will have it linked down below if they still have it. But anyways, this is just his, um, I know I probably won't even need this, but I just have it in his diaper bag. But this has like, um safety stuff in it and like his essentials like a hairbrush, a comb, nail clippers, a toothbrush which he won't need anyways and like um, nail filer and stuff but I just already have this in the diaper bag so I'm just going to keep it in there and in case he does have hair I have at least a hair comb or a brush to use on his hair so next in this diaper bag is a little changing pad which is really neat. So this came with the diaper bag. I did not buy this separately, so that was nice. All right, next is what I'm actually bringing to the hospitals, and then the rest is just what I'm gonna keep in the diaper bag. But I won't go through that today. Um, we have our um, pediatrician's address and phone number, so we can call our pediatrician after he's born to make his first appointment. So I have that in his diaper bag, which. I will probably put in my folder, which I will show you guys soon. So I'll just keep this to the side for now. Next is a car seat cover. It's very cold here in Michigan, and he's going to be born in within the next couple weeks. So definitely have a car seat. And this is nice because I can use this if I'm nursing or whatever. And yeah, so. I have the car seat cover. Next, I have his little hat and his swaddle. This will be his first picture in when um, he's born. Um, I got this as a gift, and I absolutely love it. So that will be his first picture alive. Well, he is alive, but his first picture. Next is coming home outfit. I have two just in case because I don't know what size he's going to be. This one is a newborn size and in case he's too big for the newborn because we don't know how much he's going to be. This is zero to three months. I love this one. I'm scared that it might be too big on him but I did bring that one just in case it, this was too big but I love this. Next is this snowsuit to keep him warm because of course it's going to be cold when he comes home. I love this and it has little mittens already like um, connected so he doesn't have to scratch it. I don't have to worry about him scratching his face in the car on the way home and this is like very heavy duty. It's going to keep him nice and warm on the way home from the hospital. I did bring mittens just in case um, his 
just in case like when I put one of his outfits on I just want to make sure his face doesn't get scratched until I put the snowsuit on and then I brought two pairs of socks because the one outfit does not come with footies so I have two pairs of socks just in case I lose one and that is everything for his hospital bag the rest is just essentials to keep in your diaper bag so if you guys want to see what's in his actual diaper bag for essentials please give this video a thumbs up I will absolutely do that next I am bringing my boppy because I'm hoping I will be able to nurse and I want to be as comfortable as possible while nursing and for him to be comfortable too and I heard this is great for nursing so I'll be taking this to the hospital it's the sh um, sheet has already already been washed. I just put it back in its case to keep the germs out of it. Alright, next is what's in my hospital bag. I did have another bag that I had everything in, but it was a little tight because it was, a, it was like a really small weekend bag. And because it's cold, I'm wearing um, heavier stuff, so everything is more thicker so it was harder to keep in my other bag so I just decided to use a suitcase and it'll probably be easier for my husband to carry because he'll be the one bringing this into the room so let's see what's in my bag all right nothing in this compartment. this compartment has some nursing pads just in case my milk comes in while I am in the hospital. I don't know if the hospital provides that or not, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Alright, let's start with this. Whoops! I have a plastic bag because we heard that since we have two dogs, um, Haley and Hank, we want to make sure that they are used to his scent before we bring him home. So we were told that we should um, bring his first bottle that he gets put into after he's born. So it has like all that potent and stuff on it so the dogs get a really good scent of him. So I brought this plastic bag for my husband so he can bring home the first bottle so the dogs can smell it. Next, I heard to bring a reusable bag because the hospital does give you some free stuff and i rather have like a little reusable bag to put everything in. Next is a shower cap just in case I don't want to wash my hair and I don't have to wash my hair. I'm not going to. Same with the head wrap. But I also use the head wrap just in case I do wash my hair. Um... Next is a washcloth. I wash, I rinse my face every morning so this will help make me feel more myself after I have him and I take my first shower. This is a makeup wipe. I just brought it just in case I don't feel like getting up or anything. I can just ask someone can you wet this down so I can take my makeup off or something. Toiletries. I have the essentials of deodorant, perfume, I'm gonna try not to use perfume but if I feel like I need to like smell a little bit better, I'm gonna spray it onto my back just in case so he doesn't have a reaction when I'm holding him. So that's a good tip. Um, I have body wash, dry shampoo. Most of this stuff is just like what I take when I travel, so I didn't really go through this much. Um, this is a Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast, just in case I want to put a little bit of volume in my hair. Um, Leave-in conditioner, I have to use this because I hate having frizzy hair. Just in case <coughs> I take a shot, I wash my hair, or my husband washes his hair. Shampoo and conditioner. A throwaway toothbrush. Face moisturizer, face cleanser, and um, these are 
hand sanitary wipes. I want to wipe the bottoms of my slippers before I bring them home so I don't bring home any hospital germs because I'm a freak like that. So that's all the toiletries. Alright, next is just folders for paperwork. Um, I do have my birth plan in one of them and then the other one's empty so when the school gives me paperwork, I have a folder to put it in so I don't lose anything. Which I should put this in there before I forget. So, folders for paperwork and if you have a birth plan, make sure you have your birth plan with you. Next, the hospital told me to bring... Um, The hospital told me to bring a robe, a nightgown, slippers, hairbrush, and toothpaste, and then anything else is optional. So I brought a robe. I bought this cheap one from Amazon. Hopefully it will work. I don't want to take it. I don't want to open that all the way. So robe. I got pajamas. I made sure I got the pair that have like the buttons so it'll be easy access to nurse. And I went up, I picked the size that I am in right now because after birth I'm sure I'm going to still be that huge and I'd rather be comfortable and let it be oversized on me than it being tight and me not feeling comfortable. Um, also I have a sleep nursing bra and then whatever nursing bra I end up going to the hospital in I'll be wearing that um, my glasses case with some um, pre moist lensing wipes and I brought headphones with me just in case I have two pairs of fuzzy socks with the grips because I don't like the hospital socks I rather wear my own socks so both of these have the grips on the bottom, so I can wear those. Um, I did bring some snacks just in case I get hungry in the middle of the night, or if I give birth in the middle of the night and I want to eat after, at least I have some snacks. Um, I have two coming home outfits because I don't know how comfortable I'm going to be feeling. I have maternity leggings and I have a pair of joggers, so... I have two options at least. Or if I have to stay in the hospital longer, never know. And then same with tops. I brought a cardigan and um, this is kind of like a cardigan. It like hides like your stomach area and it's easy access to breastfeed. And I brought a cam one cami, nursing cami, so I'll be wearing that home with either outfit. Some granny panty underwear because you know it's gonna be nasty down there. <laughs> My nursing cami for the coming home day. And then I bought me and my husband slippers for Christmas. Mine says Mama Bear, his says Papa Bear. I'm bringing these to the hospital. And these are so comfortable. If I could still find still find it, I'll put the link to them down below. Um pair of socks to bring or for coming home because I'm sure I'll just wear like my winter boots to the hospital because that would be the last thing I care about and flip flops for the shower because you don't know what has been on those hospital shower floors so a pair of flip flops and I got this letter board for Christmas so with his first picture he's I'm going to use this letter board I already started it I just have to finish it after he's born, of course, but I just have to fill in the day, the month, the day, pounds, ounces, and inches, but I'm so excited to use this. I'm also taking, bringing some prenatal vitamins, so, because you should be taking them every day, and last but not least, I am bringing a blanket, so... I will be nice and warm because you never know the hospital. Some their blankets aren't the best, so a blanket. So if I've missed anything, please let me know in the comments down below. If I'm bringing something that I shouldn't, please leave it in the comments down below. I also have a checklist right next to my hospital bag just in case I go into labor and 
I have everything written down so I don't forget or if I'm go into labor while I'm at work my husband knows what to bring um, it's just the essentials like to make sure to bring my wallet to have my driver's license and insurance copy of my birth plan my glasses which I should probably be wearing anyways um, a hairbrush I put a hair dryer but if he if I forget it's not a big deal a phone charger for sure um, I send my iPad um, my makeup bag, which I already have put together, I just keep it on the counter, so I have everything already put together. I just gotta throw it in my hospital bag. Um, my hospital bag and Mason's bag, so I just have this checklist on top of my luggage, just in case I go into labor, I'm like freaking out and stuff, I have a checklist to make sure I have everything I need. So if I'm forgetting something, please let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see what's in his essential diaper bag, I will definitely do that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know. By the time you see this, I will be 37 weeks pregnant. And he can come pretty much any time. He's already flipped. And we're just waiting on him pretty much. So I think by the end of January, we will be, he will be here. But we shall see. His due date is February 8th which is still about three weeks away, but you never know, he might come early, he might be stubborn and not come until later. So don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye!